any interesting stories or memories with other notable artists or producers you want to share with us today? Uh, yeah. My favorite story is probably with uh, G Herbo. Uh, I met G Herbo like two weeks ago. Um, it was, um, I feel like he gave me a lot of knowledge, you know what I'm saying? Like, meeting him, he's one of my favorite rappers. So, like, meeting him, he gave me so much knowledge that all I did was soak it in, you know? Like, something he told me was, like, stay in the studio every day. And ever since he told me that, you feel me, I've been trying to make a song every day. Like, it was just the most motivational experience I ever had in my life, for real. You know what I'm saying? And, and this music stuff. Now, how'd you two meet? Uh, we met because he on the remix, the uh, Sneak Link uh, Chicago version. So he, um, you feel me, he on the song. So that's how we met. Uh, the label ended up reaching out and bringing him to the studio. Yeah. Was that something you ask or tell the label you personally wanted done? Yeah. Or was that something they suggest, like, hey, we should get G Herbo for this remix? Nah, that, was, that was all I me. Mean. That's all my idea. Him and uh, Quinn Key. Shout out, Quinn Key. Now, what was G Herbo really like? Uh, He was like, he was cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was like watching him, because I've been watching him since I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? Since he was a kid. So it was like, he was, everything he talked about, he really liked that. You know what I'm saying? Like, being genuine and showing love and being humble, that's really him. Like, it's not a front for music, none of that. For sure. And for time reference, it's November 2021 now.